Hello everyone. Today our topic is introduction to Python. Python is a widely used general purpose, high level programming language. It was created by Guido Van Rossum in 1991 and after that developed by the Python Software Foundation. Python is used in many organizations as it supports multiple programming features. Python lets you work quickly and integrate systems more efficiently. The main advantages of Python are easy to learn, user-friendly data structures, open source and community development, presence of third-party modules, extensive support libraries like NumPy for numerical calculations, dynamically typed language, which means that there is no need to mention data type based on value assigned, text data type. Python is portable and interactive and supportable across operating systems. You can download Python from python.org or use one of the interpreters available in the net. Here is our first Python program. Line one is a comment line. In Python, comments begin with the pound sign. So you can write any comments after this sign and anywhere in the program. This statement is ignored by the interpreter and it's used for documentation purposes. In the second line, we have the print statement or the print function. In Python 2, it was used without parentheses, but in Python 3, it should include parentheses. In Python, the print function has several formats and it's a very powerful tool to output the results. Here inside the parentheses, we have between quotes, will come to Jordan. This is a string and will be printed as it is. So if we run the program, any string or message you include in the quotes will be printed. In Python, variables are assigned values using the assignment operator. Here the variable X is assigned the value five, Y seven, and Z40. According to this statement, the output will be 5740. And according to this print statement, the output will be 4057. We can assign variables to XYZ using one statement. X comma YZ equals two, four, seven, Line. According to this assignment, 4 is assigned to x, 7 to y, and 9 to z. So the output is 4, 7 line. We can use the print statement to print string, variable value, and even expressions. According to this print statement, the output would be x equals as it is, and after it, the value of x, which is 7. And according to this statement, the output will be x multiplied by x equal will be printed as a string as it is. And here we have expression x multiplied by x, which is 49. So according to this statement, we have this output and according to this statement, we have this output. In addition to the assignment operator, Python supports several other assignment operators. Here we have, here is the operator, example, and equivalent to the assignment operator, for example, x equals 10, is equivalent to assigning 10 to the variable x plus equal, for example, x plus equal 10 is equivalent to x equals x plus 10 minus equal operator x minus equals 10 is equivalent to x minus 10. So x minus 10 will be computed and the result will be assigned to x.
mal equal, for example, x mal equal 10 is equivalent to x equals x multiplied by 10. Again, x will be multiplied by 10 and the result will be assigned to x. Real division equal x slash equal 10 is equivalent to x over 10 assigned to x. And this is also known as float division. 2 slash is equal x2 slash is equal 10 is equivalent to x x floor division 10 for example 25 equal 10 results in 2 modulus equal for example x modulus equal 10 is equivalent to x x modulus 10 or the remainder when the first operand is divided by the second operand. For example, if we write 25 modulus equal 10, then the resulting value is 5. And the raised to power, for example, x raised to power equal 5 is equivalent to x equals x raised to power 5. So x to the power 5 is first computed, then it is assigned to the variable x. Python supports the following arithmetic operators. Operator plus for addition, minus for subtraction, slash division, but float, x over y, two slashes, division, but floor, for example, 7 to slash is 2, results in 3. Since the floor of 3 and 5 is a 3. The floor of 3 and 7 is also 3. The next operator is the modulus. For example, x modulus y. It retains the remainder when the first operand is divided by the second operand. And two stars is raised to power. X two stars Y is equivalent to X raised to the power Y. For example, two two stars three will result in eight. When evaluating arithmetic expressions, you have to be careful about the priorities. First, parentheses, raised to power, multiplication, division, modulus, I have the same priority from left to right, addition and subtraction also have the same priority from left to right. For example, to evaluate this expression, first C is raised to power three, then it is multiplied by B, D, is subtracted from the result and after that what is inside the parentheses is multiplied by a in this example we have x2 y3 and z4 in line 3 we first compute z to the power x which is 16 next we sum y plus 1 y plus 1 is 4 and the real division here is 4. Line 4 z to the power 2 is 16 multiplied by 2 32. Floor division 5 is 6 and finally plus 10 which is 16. Line 5 z plus 4 which is 4 plus 4 8 multiplied by y3 multiplied by 5 and now 2 multiplied by 6 is a 12. Here we have 15 multiplied by 8 120 minus 12 we should have 18. So these are our results. 
for today. That's all. Thank you.